I thought while I was out this weekend I would go ahead and do a little update. Uh, we've added a few things. Um, the first thing we added was this irrigation system because we will be going away on vacation in April and I was freaking out about my plants so my husband built me a little watering system here. Um, it's just the half inch tube and we either have the um, drip lines going in to each plant. I tried to do that on my tomato plants so that the leaves don't get all soggy and wet. Or we are also using some of these little sprayer nozzles where I just want it to get everything a little bit moist. So, um, well there's my radishes. I don't know if I missed a watering on them or what, but some of the leaves are turning yellow. And my basil's looking really good. And my green beans. Or I mean my sweet peas. I got a bunch of those I gotta get off of there. Um, over here I have some... Um, these are a pepper... What are they? I can't remember the... I have a little pack over here. It's just my pepper. Don't know what it is. <laughs> like a lot of stuff. Um, this is my Cherokee purple, and I have a nice big fruit on there. But something ate it. Um, thought maybe I would leave it there, and it does seem like it scabbed up a little bit. So I'm going to do a little research and see if I can still save those seeds or not. But there are two other fruits on this plant, and. A few really nice blossoms. Um, this is my jalapeno. Taking a couple off of that. An eggplant. This one finally flowered. And my lettuce bin. Taking a little bit off of there and trying to make up a salad. Need to thin that out a bit, I guess. And take you over to the other side. Okay, in this container I have my chocolate stripes, tomatoes, um, and then on the other side is the black beauty pepper. I um, also have that under the waterer, and behind that is the yellow pear tomato. Now I will say that my plants are looking really good after using the aspirin and baking soda, um, especially the tomato plants. They were turning all um, yellow and kind of looking like they might have begin, been getting some blight or something. So, But all of my tomato plants now are looking really healthy. Um, and I'm really I'm going to try and stick with the baking soda aspirin regimen throughout the summer and see if uh, I can keep my plants looking this good. Alright, this is my Rutgers tomato, and this plant was on the brink of death. <laughs> um, it was just, I can think, it's in the back there, but it was one stem, had a few leaves on the top, um, and it looked awful. Uh, but now I've sprayed it with the, the aspirin and baking soda, and it looks beautiful now. It's got a lot of buds and some flowers on this side. So I'm pretty hopeful with this about this plant. Um, and I did give this one some trifecta too, so that probably helped a lot. And then down here I have two suckers off of the yellow um, tomato plant over there that's a hybrid. So from what I've heard, um, Taking suckers off the hybrid plants is the way to go if you want to keep them going. Not so much saving seeds, so I'm going to try that. And then I got my chickens, um, Swiss chard. Got two buckets of that. And a couple more things to show you. This is my husband's experiment. Um, he wanted to try this. I tried growing a tomato in a topsy turvy a few years back and it got attacked by, I'm guessing, hornworms at the time, and I wasn't paying attention to it, and the plant was gone next time I went out. So um, he's going to try this. 
Um, this is a red beefsteak heirloom tomato, and it does have a couple flowers on it. Um, and we did buy that from a start. So, there's just all my buckets. I'm not going to go through all that. I just really wanted to show you uh, the progress of the tomatoes with the baking soda and aspirin. Um, so, yeah. Hope y'all are having a great Easter weekend, and thanks for watching.